Hey guys, welcome back to Primetime Studios. Like always, I'm your host, Primetime Phil, and today we're going to discuss a little bit about the Dallas Cowboys versus the Kansas City Chiefs for this Sunday at 4.30 Eastern in Kansas City. Now, this, these teams have a definitely a uh, history in the sense of where one came from and the other one, but that's a whole different video. Will this be the toughest matchup that we've had all season? I would say so. Now, is it a great defense like Minnesota had or any of those Chargers defenses? No, I don't, I don't think this team definitely brings that, but the fact is you don't normally think of the defense when you look at Kansas City. You think of Patrick Mahomes and Hill and what they can do on that offense. So the offense hasn't been exactly the same, but again, this team is coming off of two Super Bowl appearances, and it's, that wasn't too long ago. So will this be the toughest matchup that Dallas has had? So far, yes. Probably comparable to the beginning of the season, but our Dallas team is a totally different team from what it was in the beginning of the season. And this defense has given us the confidence to know that we can go in here and we can honestly beat any team. So let's go over some of the matchups that Dallas is going to have to have in order to pull out this victory against the Chiefs. All right, guys, let's start on the defensive side of the ball for the Dallas Cowboys. Now, we understand who we're going against in the sense of Patrick Mahomes and this high-powered Kansas City offense. And honestly, it doesn't scare us at all because the NFL has shown you a blueprint of at least how to slow the Kansas City offense down. And I think it's a pretty good recipe. Now, you put two high safeties on, and it causes Kansas City to have to dump in the middle. But honestly, that's the if you have the ability also to get pressure to Patrick Mahomes. Now, a lot of people think with Patrick Mahomes being a mobile quarterback that maybe we should put a quarterback spy on him, causing a linebacker to kind of just follow him, and if he gets out of the pocket, to attack. It's something that Green Bay did do, but I think they just did it as a team in general, put pressure on Mahomes if he tends to get out of the pocket. They had a heck of a man coverage, and guys like Brian Broaddus does make a good point in the sense that we need to put hands on bodies as soon as they get off the line of scrimmage in that sense of the wide receivers. Let's jam them. Let's interrupt their timing because this offense is all about timing with how finesse it is. How do you beat that finesse? You beat it with power, and this team definitely has the power on defense to kind of give it to somebody, and that's how you kind of combine Dallas Cowboys football with what the NFL has shown you in the two high safety. The two high safety is not something that Dallas has ran all year, but it's something that we can adjust to because this team has shown, one, it has the ability to adjust game plan to game plan, and two, it has the personnel to back it up in the sense of putting guys like a linebacker in the end spots, and, and you don't even have everybody healthy back. So how do you slow this Kansas City Chief down? Well, you, you combine your football with what the NFL has shown you, and then you pop Kansas City in the mouth. Now... Can you slow guys down like Tyreek Hill and Kelsey? You're going to need to try to get really physical with those guys because, honestly, it, again, it's all about the timing. When you got Hill running around out there and you can't put hands on him, otherwise it's pass interference or holding or something like that, it's going to be hard. And guys like Anthony Brown, a little bit more disciplined, and I'm saying that, yes, Anthony Brown, that guy, you should put him on Tyreek Hill because guys like Dig, you're gonna he's gonna get eaten up. And I think Diggs would be amazing on Kelsey, and that would be a hell of a battle. Yes, those guys are gonna win their stuff because this is the NFL, but I think our defense can definitely put a game plan together to slow these guys down, if not stop them. So let's look on the offensive side of the ball and see how our offense is gonna have to attack their defense in order to pull out a victory this Sunday. As we look on the offensive side of the ball for the Dallas Cowboys, there wasn't a whole lot of I knew about this Kansas City defense, so I had to watch guys like Okoye kind of really break down what the defense was doing. And honestly, I never really paid attention that Kansas City's defense really honestly plays out of position is that as soon as they line up. And it was guys like Okoye that really pointed out that even though you may have guys that individually perform very well, it doesn't matter if your coaching staff is automatically putting those guys out of positions to make those plays. If you take a sweep to the right, everybody is committing, even their safeties, because they know they don't have the personnel to honestly stop a run, so they have to kind of commit. And if you can do misdirections, like pretend to go right and then go left as an offense, they kind of don't have the ability to kind of shift the other way. They totally commit. So misdirections, bootlegs, things like that. You're going to see guys like Dalton Schultz really have an amazing game or even our other tight end, McEwen, have an amazing game because this is all about what can we have open once those fake sweeps or any of those things get the defense going one way and we're able to kind of make the play go the opposite way. So I think that's going to be a big thing on this defense is just to attack them. And I don't think this defense has the personnel to kind of 
say, hey, well, we're going to put this man on that man, and we're going to take out Cooper. And this, Yes, you have an amazing safety, but other than that, your defensive line has one or two guys, which, again, will make a play here and there, but they don't have the ability to stop this offense from just doing whatever the hell they want to, and you're going to see that. And I think if our defense doesn't slow down, you could see a heck of a high-scoring game. But I think Dallas can really run away with this and show the NFL that, hey, we are for real. So at the end of this, honestly, Dallas can really give it to Kansas City. And there's going to be a lot of small factors are brewing on in the background as we speak. And honestly, left guard could be one of those things. Will McGovern honestly make his way into that left guard position that people have been wanting you have to trust this coaching staff that even if mcgovern goes in there and struggles that he needs to take his lumps and learn because that's how tyler biotish got better than what he was in the beginning of the season that's how terrence Steele is the what he is now is that whole year last year and struggling so they need to be able to get nfl experience and i think mcgovern now going in there would be amazing What's happening with our defensive end position? Is Dorrance Armstrong going to be able to step up and have it for a second week in a row and show what a true professional can do? Or is it just a one game thing? Uh, will other guys like Terrell Basham finally actually be able to step up and actually, you know, we want to hear your name call, dude. We want to be able to say your name at the end of the week and say that you kind of contributed than just being a body out there until our normal guys get back. So I want to see what Dallas can do, and I think it's going to be a heck of a test. Can we give it to Kansas City? Yes, because their defense doesn't look like it can slow us down. Can our defense slow down Kansas City? I think yes as well, because we have a guy at the helm in Dan Quinn. What will be the final outcome, and what will your predictions be as well? Mine, I think Dallas will take this 28-23, to 23, for example. But if our defense can really step up and our uh, defense kind of just do its thing and maybe cause some turnovers it could be a game like maybe 34 to 17 so I, I really like our odds going into it and it's different from previous years where I would never gave Dallas a chance so thank you for watching thank you for subscribing I'm primetime Phil I appreciate all the support guys and until next week or till our recap and see how excited we are after this game but I appreciate again everything so don't forget to always ring that bell <laughs>